Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to discuss about reproduction in yeast or saccharomyces so two types of reproductions are present so first type of reproduction is known as sexual reproduction and the second type of reproduction is known as asexual reproduction so in the beginning we will start about the asexual reproduction then in the next lecture we will discuss about the sexual reproduction actually so there are two methods through which this asexual reproduction takes place so first method is known as budding first method is known as budding and the second method through which asexual reproduction in yeast is occur is known as fission is known as fission so in the beginning firstly we will try to discuss about the budding budding so firstly what is budding actually it is a type of asexual reproduction it is a type of asexual reproduction in which in which small outgrowth small outgrowth is formed out growth is form and this out growth out growth in large and detach from parent body from parent body and change into new yeast into a new yeast so actually it is uh, the definition of budding so now we will discuss with the help of diagram how the budding is occur actually in the yeast for example this one is a yeast or a saccharomyces cell and this one is a nucleus so we can write here this one is a yeast this is a cytoplasm of the cell we call it is a unicellular and this is a cell wall and inside the cell wall this is a cell membrane this one is a cell membrane and inside this this one is a nucleus this one is a nucleus actually so this is a cell and small outgrowth is produced like this this one is a small outgrowth this one is a parent cell parent cell this one is a outgrowth and through which a sexual reproduction which is known as budding will occur so how after the uh, about the sexual reproduction we'll discuss later now we are going to discuss how the outgrowth is converted into a new yeast actually this is a cell and this one is outgrowth this one is a nucleus this one is outgrowth this one is a parent cell as the outgrowth is formed the cell nucleus of this cell divide mitotically and two cells are produced so two nuclei are produced so this one is outgrowth out 
growth these are two nuclei and this is the parent cell so when the nuclear division take place the one nucleus will migrate from this parent cell to this outgrowth and this outgrowth is also known as bud this is also known as bud so what will happen actually for example this one is a cell this one is an outgrowth one nucleus is present in the parent body and the other nucleus has migrated from this parent cell to outgrowth as the time passes this outgrowth or bud outgrowth or bud start detaching from this parent body so there is small constriction for and this constriction divide this separate this outgrowth from the parent body and this outgrowth will become independent like this one this one is a parent cell of the yeast and this one is the bud which was formed but now it is separated from this parent body so this is a parent cell parent cell and this cell is for as a result of budding so hum cell which is for as a result of budding this cell will grow in size and produce acting as a new yeast cell again the cell divides and produce a new cell with the help of this process and this process is known as budding now we are going to discuss that how the second method is involved in the asexual reproduction so for example this one is a yeast cell this one is a yeast cell so what will happen actually this cell divide into two cells but not a small outgrowth is formed in the process of fission this cell divide and produce two cells it mean fission will break down this cell will break into two pieces and each piece will be act as a new cell of a yeast so this one is a parent cell parent cell and these are two daughter cells daughter cells which are formed which are formed as a result of as a result of fission as a result of fission so this was all about the asexual reproduction in the